What's up guys and welcome back to the lab. At the beginning of the year I said that I wanted to do more videos on mods and builds that I do and today we're going to start off that with looking at this AIO. This AIO is from Cooler Master, it's one of their more budget ranges and although functionally it works just as well as any other they didn't really put much effort into the aesthetics so I'm going to have a look to see if I can actually improve on that and we'll see how we go. So this cooler in particular is one of their 240mm Master Liquid light systems. Now they don't come with any RGB and the pipework on them is actually in this rigid plastic. They did a more up to date version of this which is the Master Liquid light RGB which does come with some RGB but it's actually basically just that the colour of the logo will change. It's not an addressable RGB, it's just a simple system and they did braid some of the cables. Now I wanted to see if I can get the previous system or the, the most basic version in a similar format and I've had started to have a look at some of the mods that you can do. Looking at the two main features that I want to improve which is one is the pipe work. We can simply braid that ourselves. Now you can do that using some kits that you can purchase out there but they're quite expensive or you can actually buy this. Now this is a wrap around sleeving that you can get for any pipes or cabling. You can get it in different sizes and you generally buy it in big lengths. Now I bought about two or three meters of it for about 10 pounds off Amazon, which isn't too bad considering the kits that just give you the actual pipe lengths are about 30 to 40. I've cut some of that off and all you've got to do is simply wrap it around the pipes. So now that we've actually braided the pipes here, what you'll notice is that this wraparound stuff, because you can't actually fit it over the end, one of the sides ha has a seam that you can actually stretch over the pipe. Now we can simply secure that on either end with a cable tie or a bit of uh, something like electrical tape and it will work perfectly fine. Now that we've resolved that and it actually looks pretty smart, we'll have a look at the AIO itself, the pump. So if you look at the original design that they had, all you do is you simply have some lights behind a panel which actually glow up the logo. On the Master Liquid Light without RGB, I took it apart and took the top off and realized that the top is actually just a diffuser. So I sanded down the top with a bit of wet and dry sandpaper, took all the black off of it, and you get a very nice white diffuser. And I thought, how could I get that to look a little bit better? So I jumped on my 3D printer and I decided to put something together to see if we can do it. The first iteration that I had was this. Now this is a simple collar system which will fit over the top of the AIO pump and I printed a diffuser and got a piece of coloured glass. Now once you fit this actually together and you mount it on top of the pump you'll notice and if we plug it in we can show you So that's the pump going on and off without the filter on and then we can simply insert the filter which changes the colour. Now this was enough for me to actually theme up this um, system with a specific build but what I wanted to do was see could I take it a little bit further and make something a little bit more uh, rigid and adaptable later. So that was version one. Version 2 I decided to print a multi-tier system which consists of four pieces. We have a base which actually widens up as well so I've managed to get a bigger head on top of this which slots over the pump. A diffuser which can be designed in any different way that we want and that simply inserts in like that. A piece of perspex which will actually provide the protective layer and a top. Now this top in particular I've designed as the um, Iron Man Arc Reactor Mark IV from the Iron Man suit but you can pretty much do any design that you want. I've got another one here that I've actually 3D printed with uh, the logo from Doom Eternal. So you're pretty much flexible on how you want to do this. You simply insert the glass, put the system together. Now this one is an unfinished version so you, as you can see you do have print marks at the moment but they will be taken out when you, um, with a bit of sandpaper and things when you actually prep this. And it will simply sit over the top 
of the pump. Now once this is pushed down to the bottom they're pretty tough to get back off again. In actual fact you take the, the plastic off the top of the pump first and then you can disassemble it. But as you can see it works pretty well. Now that's okay if you want just a basic white light which you would do for this design but I wondered if I could take it even further and by that I meant could I get it something more maybe with some addressable RGB and I ended up with this one. Now this is a system that's already together and it's already been finished and polished. It's of the exact same design as this in that it's in a four piece set. But what I've done is I've printed a different type of diffuser, which actually uses a half donut shape and it inserted some ARGB lighting all the way around. So it actually has its own cable. The glass I've used on this one is a tinted black, which means you can't see through it when the lights aren't on, which gives it a really good effect. And when you simply add it to your pump and plug it into your system, you can now have addressable lighting. So at the moment this is set to red, but we can actually filter through as we can do with any addressable RGB device. And now that looks a lot better than it did before. So I'll just grab this one and we'll do a bit of a comparison. So this is the pump as standard as it would look either on either system. It's just that this one could change to different colors using the RGB. And this one is the one that we've now designed. So as you can see, the top is much wider and we can actually 3D print any pattern we want in there for the lighting to shine through. On the RGB system, obviously we, all, we do have the two cables for the RGB and the pump itself. On the new one, we have a similar system, but instead we've got ARGB cables and it's looking pretty swish. I can't wait to fit this to a system, see how it performs actually once we start putting some temperatures to things. I should uh, suspect it will be perfectly fine, but we'll give it a test. We're going to be doing a build soon, which I'm going to be using this on, so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see that build happening. I think we're going to do it to one of the machines actually in the lab, so you'll be able to see it all the time. And let me know in the comments what kind of designs you think I should do. So. Is there any other games that you would like to see me do logos for or any brands that you would like me to see do logos for because we can quickly just switch these on and off however we want and we can also use different tints of glass different colors of glass um, as well as pretty much being able to change the whole size of it we could do a square design if we wanted as long as it fits onto the adapter plate that we've created